Okay, well, let's turn to the weather. Lonnie joins us once again. The story kind of gives you the yeah, just sort of a like a yeah, and and weather wise, weather wise sort of matches that last story. It's kind of a dreary <laughs> one out there. Um, yeah, look, not a great looking day. I will say you're going to be surprised by the temperatures though. Right now, the temperature is 69 degrees under a mostly cloudy sky. High temp. You ready for this? With all that cloud cover and you know drops of rain out there. You were still you were still 75 degrees, nine degrees above the average for this time of the year. We picked up some rain. New York City didn't pick up a whole lot, two one hundredths of an inch, about a tenth of an inch around Belmar. Biggest number approaching a half an inch around Sussex, 0.41. A little bit more than a quarter of an inch for Monticello, 0.28. There's going to be a bit more to go as you go through the nighttime hours. Numbers range anywhere from some people pick up zero, right? Uh, other folks pick up a tenth of an inch. Could be a half an inch or more in some spots, especially north of the area. But again, this is not a huge rainmaker for us. So expect some showers to move through the area. Even expect the chance for a spotty thunderstorm tonight. And some of those thunderstorms could possibly bump up to a severe level. It's a 10 to 20 percent chance for a severe cell to come through tonight. And when I talk about a severe cell, I'm talking about winds that would be strong enough to create some damage, uh, maybe, maybe crack a tree limb or uh, take a power line down. It's a possibility, it's a slight chance tonight, better chance actually tomorrow because wind, wind is the big story for your day on Friday. Sunday now looks to be a lot nicer than we initially thought. In fact, I think it's the better half of the weekend. Saturday, you're 65. Some of that wind that I'm talking about from Friday is a leftover breeze for Saturday, so 65. And it's a chilly start Saturday morning. I showed you some of you starting Saturday morning with a wind chill below the, freeze, the freezing mark. So your temperatures aren't below freezing, but it makes it feel like it when you put the wind on top of it. 78 is your high temperature on Sunday. It's overall just the better half. There, it, I've been talking about a rain chance for Sunday for a while now. There's still a chance, but it's down down to about a 20% risk for Sunday. It's more the heat that comes back to the area. Here's what we've got right now. A couple of light showers. Remember that light green color, even the dark green color. That shows you a light raindrop. It's not anything heavy. So yeah, there's some rain out there. It's nothing big. Bigger picture will show you. It's a pretty intense, granted, skinny line right here that cuts through Pittsburgh, goes all the way down into Kentucky, quite honestly. That front is going to be moving in. It is going to fall apart somewhat. But we still keep it the chance for a thunderstorm possibly moving through tonight. All right, so a rain chance tonight. Friday, not so much. A little bit of leftover wet weather possibly on Friday, but it's the winds for Friday. Saturday, with some leftover moisture and that cold air being driven in by that wind. Look at that. The Catskills could have a little snowflake out there. Then you get to your day on Sunday, 20% risk for some wet weather, but it's hot. Then it's Monday with a rain chance, Tuesday with a rain chance, and Wednesday with a rain chance. Here's my number. I'm going to go 68 for Friday, 65 Saturday, 78 on Sunday. All right, again, I do think Sunday's the better half of the week, and especially Sunday afternoon. Monday, you're 72. It's unsettled, a chance for some rain. Tuesday, you're 77, the hottest day, but still a slight chance. Wednesday, a chance for rain at 73, and then cooler behind that front on Thursday with the highest 66. So that's my seven day forecast. I think, again, guys, look forward to the weekend. Tomorrow's a windy one. Okay, thank you, Lonnie. Thanks, Lonnie.